Hello, our beloved uh, Summit Church member. Today, I'm going to summarize uh, Headquarters Saturday message that happened on uh, April 30th. The Saturday Headquarters messages consist of a business person message, and then remnant evangelism message, and the core message, and the scattered disciple message. Uh, I'm going to begin with uh, business person message. The title was Business Person Who Transcend Time and Space. Uh, the scripture was Genesis chapter 6, verse 4 through 5. Um, pastor said that business person must enjoy the power to control the world and change the world. Business person and church officers uh, are um, officers are the people like Obadiah and Ga Gaius and Rockefeller that we uh, often hear in our messages. And they are the people who truly change this world uh, through uh, enjoying the power of transcending time and space. What is what is the power of transcending time and space? It says that um, realizing what condition am I in uh, in this world and this age. And that's something that we really have to know in our life. And first thing is uh, the state. Um, the condition is knowing the state, knowing my current state. My uh, current state is enjoying with Emmanuel oneness, oneness, in every moment of our life and that's called spiritual concentration and that's called 24 hours in other words rather than um, talk about physical contents and rather than you, you focus on physical contents you talk and think about spiritual contents that's the uh, blessing that's the power that we must enjoy in our life and then that leads to enjoyment of 24 hours and that is enjoying god's kingdom that is as that is also um, uh, confessing that man cannot do alone and so that you enjoy the presence of God and that's how you enjoy uh, the power of transcending time and places and that, that will lead to true answer the true answer of eternity like how our, our pulpit message was uh, the title was um, change everything to eternity and this will happen when we truly enjoy uh, this uh blessing and power of transcending time and space and the main main topic of message was discover easiest things as a uh, business person finding what god has granted us god gave many examples in the bible and and pastor you uh, spoke about four example uh one first example is noah and the age of nephilim and in the age of nephilim um the main point is everyone was possessed by a demon so that uh, controlled and seized the world, and God was grieved in the book of Genesis chapter 6. However, Noah was righteous, and he walked with God. And then he uh, built the ark for the posterity. And next, we move on to Abraham, who was uh, standing at the age of Ch uh, Chaldean. Um, they were in the, book of, in the Bible, uh, according to Genesis chapter 11, uh, there was a Tower of Babel instance, right? And everybody was chasing for success and they were denying God. They believed that they could live without God. And then they started to do idol worship. And then um, there was a God's calling. God's calling that you have to escape. You must leave everything, leave all your possession for the land that I have promised to you, right? And then he left and following the word of God, following the covenant, and then... Uh, in the Genesis chapter 13, he uh, Abraham built an altar and then he was able to uh, correctly hold on to the covenant through uh, at the Mount Moriah and Mamre, right? And he received the true answer of um, having the future in his life and having the family that will um, accomplish the word evangelism. Right. So next is the age of idolatries and Obadiah. Right. Obadiah, uh, he received the true answer of hide and feed a hundred prophets and laid a bridge to fight in Mount Carmel. Right. And then uh, if you look at First King chapter 18 and 19 and First King uh, in the book of First King, you see that there was a lot, a lot of work that has been done in Elijah and Elisha. But then Pastor, you said they would not be there if Obadiah was not. Um, you know, standing in the place. So that Obadiah was the most important figure in the book of First King. And then uh, next he moved on to uh, talk about the age of colonization and the business person, business people in early church. 
um, the most prominent example is Pris Gila and Aguila, and he was raised. He's he was raising all these evangelists, right? They met Paul, and lay, he they uh, staked their life. They lay their physical body, and then they became a host for, of all evangelists. So conclusion. Uh, pastor said that we must challenge to the God's will. There must be a problem, conflict, and crisis will happen, and almost everywhere. However, in those times, in in those uh, when you're discovering that, we must see the God's absolute plan. And then, what we must do is, as a, a business person uh, of this age, we must we must not judge it. We should discern what God's will is. And then we must uh, we must see that. Everything is God's plan, and we may, we must prepare our future uh, in our life as a fellow worker and patron and a host of all for all evangelists. Next, we will move on to remnant evangelism message. Evangelism message title was Ten Mysteries and Eyes of Viewing the World." Um, as a remnant, we must have we must possess the eye to view the world. And uh, what is it? we must realize that we're living in the age of concentration there's a, a battle between transcend, transcendental meditation and holy meditation obviously you know we're trying to figure follow this holy meditation of try to meditate with the word of god not just try to um try to empty ourselves and try to um get rid of all the thoughts by uh and and, and accepting the evil spirit and what that is basically transcendental meditation is uh, advocating and we're trying to go deep inside the word of God and what God has uh, said to us and that's what uh, that's how we overcome this world overcome the message of this world so uh, pastor in the introduction pastor said that uh, again he talked about law of uh, 10,000 hours to receive great answers mm -hmm. and that it will lead to um, what said what it says in the Bible 40 years 40 days and Acts chapter 1 verse 3 and Acts chapter 2 verse 1 they gather together and pray and then talk about uh, kingdom of God 40 days and then you know they were gathering at the early church and see the work of Holy Spirit and you see that Acts chapter 2 verse 42 they have a worship and not just having a worship at church uh, if you read Acts chapter 2 verse 46 and 47 they were having worship enjoying this work of Holy Spirit and um, having this time at the temple courts, but then it did not end it at the temple courts. It was carried on to the each home, and they, it was able to. They were, uh, they were, uh, they were able to transform their life individually, and that's something that we must enjoy. And that will lead us to enjoy this twenty-four hour, twenty-five hour eternity. The answer of that. So, as a remnant, we can never be haste. We must just follow the steps. And you will see the answer in any situation. That's something that all of our remnants must enjoy. You know, it's not it's not us to try uh, try to change our life, change our life uh, with dramatic uh, experience or anything like that. Concentrating with holy meditation and uh, doing three two days every day, and they will stack up, and you will just see the answer that comes in your life. And then for the main point, uh, you as a remnants, we really uh, in order for us to discern and um, have the eyes to view the world, we must recognize that there are three types of kingdom in this world. First type is worldly kingdom. Uh, basically, we are, we are all colonized. And the Satan's kingdom, kingdom king, uh, there, there is a king of the world, as it is says in Ephesians. And then uh, this king of the world shakes the entire world, right? And then at last there is a God's kingdom. Um, that is... That is our destination, which is heaven. But or it, it could also mean that it's something that we must be established in everywhere we go, you know, all of, all of our field. So, um, again, uh, Pastor, you talked to us that as a remnant, we should not judge. We must discern and carefully discern things in this world that happens in this world, right, with uh, spiritual eyes, right? So there there is a present reality and there's a fact, there's truth that um that connects with our life and that really uh, affects our life right as a remnant we have to transcend that and we look further than these reality and fact and truth and we must see the spiritual truth and not just end up with that we need to really see god's will 
we're going to see the spiritual fact and we're going to follow the God's will. As it says in Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, seek his kingdom, everything will add on to that. And that's something that what we believe and we must follow that. So third point that, Pastor, you told us that uh, as uh, for us to gain the eyes of, of being the world, we must have a spiritual discernment. And how do we how do we have this? We must have a prayer. We must study. We must like apply that in our enterprise, studies, business, and so on. So uh, we must enjoy 24 hours, 25 hours, and eternity in, in, in this uh, prayer and study and enterprise. So um, we must just enjoy this 24 hours. That's a, 24 hours is something that we must enjoy. And then 25 hours and eternity is something that it just follows naturally. Um, you know, uh, so what, in order for us to enjoy this answer of 25 hours and eternity, we must uh, enjoy this 24, hour, 24 hours in, in our mind and in our, with our hearts. And that's, in, that's something that, Pastor, you have introduced to us. So for the conclusion, again, uh, Pastor, you told us to, uh, told the remnant to challenge in their life. Uh, look at the Bible and look at the seven remnants. They continuously ask uh, God, what should I do? You know, what can I do in their, in their field? You know, basically, you know, using their talents to save the people of 237 nations and 5,000 people group. It's not about my own success, my pleasure or uh, my material. It was basically following God's will. And again, Pastor, you told us, and next point, he told us that at church, we should continuously ask, what should I do for the church? And that's what it means. They keep challenging in their lives. Yes, there is a lot of work, right? There is uh, sometimes it gives you, it aggravates you or it will bother you because it's just another work that you have to do when you come to church. However, uh, these uh, and through this work, you might have a bad experience. However, uh, Pastor told us that this, these are uh, when you have a bad experience, you even if you have a bad experience, you must learn good things and that will lead you to prepare for the future. And then also last one is I need to challenge my life, uh, my life. And there you when you see your weakness and when you see your, that you're lacking, what you have to do is you're not going to just uh, feel despair and give up and depressed. And what you're going to do is within the gospel, you going to you're going to enjoy. We are going to we are going to enjoy this blessing of heavenly throne in our lives so that uh, I hope that all remnants can truly enjoy the blessing together. Next, well, I'm going to move on to core message. The core message title was the seven journey, the presence of the triune God. The scripture was Acts chapter one, verse one, Acts chapter one, verse three, Acts chapter one, verse eight. And he began to talk. He began with uh, talking about the imprints. What is imprint in our life? And how the imprint is very important in our life. So he began to talk about this imprint with this story of Abraham. Uh, in Acts chapter 22, uh, there was a near death experience uh, that will that led uh, his the family of Abraham, Abraham and um, Isaac and all. Uh, they truly enjoy this, uh, enjoy that they were able to change their imprint in their life with this experience. So that we must change everything and with this correct imprint which is gospel uh when you're alone right you enjoy this and then you talk about the word uh through forum and then and then study the bible and that's how we can truly change our imprint and what does that mean when we are alone you truly enjoy the gospel and then when you're having forum uh, rather than talking about all the worldly issues and news and these are good things too but talk about the word of god you know, and then we continuously study the Bible. And this is how we can correctly imprint it with the gospel. Because he talked about this because uh, in our we're walking on this journey and uh, whatever that has been imprinted in your life that will emerge uh, in any point of your life. So that uh, we must correctly imprint when we are walking on this journey. That's why he began to talk about this imprint. And... Later on, he uh, explained about Seven Journey, and we don't have time to uh, explain it in detail. However, it consists with these seven things. First, the Trinity, enjoying and stand as a witness and testifying uh, the trying God, the work of trying God. And then next is 10 mysteries, um, and then 10 foundations, and 5 assurance of salvation, and then 9 streams to change the age, 
and 62 points of live evangelists. And the final destination of our uh, our journey, seven journey, is church. Um, he told us that um, everybody is suppressed by spiritual problem, and he specifically told us, told the American field that we are struggling with this spiritual problem and it's so severe that we can't even tell what is a spiritual problem in our life. You know, we uh, often struggle with so many issues. We know that that is a spiritual problem. We got to truly solve the main uh, source of the problem. And that's something that all evangelists can attack and um, and can, can heal so that we must realize. And uh, as we are walking on this journey, we um, have... Uh, we have we should have this goal to uh, establish our church to saving everyone who's struggling with these spiritual problems um, so that uh, when you're walking on this uh, seven journey we you will uh, receive the blessing and answer of absolute and meaning you will raise as a, a, a person who will heal this age and the summit of this age and that's what we are all uh, hoping in our life and we that's all all of our dreams and goals and visions in our life so uh, we must have a conclusion in our life uh, that's the third point of introduction and that means that uh, we must stand as a witness of God is with me and we call that uh, simply a phrase called Emmanuel right um, that's what it means you know we're walking uh, in this journey uh, with the presence of trying God for the main point fundamental principle um, that is called concentration concentration prayer and this is a time that we restore the blessing that uh, that human possess uh, when we are at the Garden of Eden and that's the time that we must enjoy and that has to be our fundamental and principle and we must we must in, the, in our seven journey we must see the God's work and we must hope to see the God's work Basically, you know, in our pulpit word term, uh, we must have a hope to change everything, every part of our life to eternity. And what does that mean? We follow this. We see and um, change everything through three streams of word, salvation, um, a.k.a. evangelism and prayer. Right. And we must specialize and in our time schedule we must uh have a time to have the mission and go to this end of the age and then also have time to meet the resurrected christ that is recorded in Acts chapter 1 verse 1 and like it says in Acts chapter 1 verse 3 we must uh await for a work that will arose when we talk about the kingdom of god and we continuously um anticipate in this work Right, and then Acts chapter one verse eight, oneness through the Holy Spirit, and that's what we hope for, and that's what we uh, love to see in our life. And when we have that, we will that will move on to Acts chapter two verse one through thirteen, and we'll have many answers like fire and wind and uh, prophecy, vision and dream the dream, and these things must will happen uh, when we especially enjoy uh, the work of God in times uh, in our time schedule. For the conclusion, we have to challenge towards nobody, challenge towards nobody and nothing and what's impossible. So uh, when you truly enjoy that, when you're truly walking on the seven journey, even though we are go heading towards nobody, I know that through his, uh, through the presence of Almighty God, through, through the presence of Triune God, God will change that, transform that into everybody and God will transform nothing to everything. You know, that's something that uh, we have in his identity. Through this week, I hope you enjoy this uh, message to send as a summit of this age, like uh, King David. So the last message we have is Scattered Disciple Message. The title is Evangelism Through This Specialized Ministry. The scripture is Acts chapter 9, verse 36 to 43, and that will lead to Acts chapter 18, verse 1 through 4, the story of Priscilla and Aquila. Um, the question that uh, Pastor Yu raised was, how can we have an evangelism and mission? And how can we resolve the problem of dependent churches? Um, and these are the most important questions for us, and especially it's important uh, question for me as a, uh, as a person who wants to be uh, uh, grow as evangelist. And uh, that's, that's the answer that we must receive. And uh, Pastor, you said we can truly uh, get this answer through the 
mission convention that ha is happening right uh, this week. Um, so that intro introduction, he said that um, decision is something that is important. Uh, as a as a as an evangelist uh, that will begin the specialized ministry, we must go to the place that nobody will go. And even nothing is there, we must make the decision to go to that place. And we must see that uh, we must see and make the decision and and choose what is uh, absolutely impossible. Um, that's something that we must uh, make the we must choose when we are when we are hoping uh, to be an evangelist uh, be, to begin specialized ministry. Um, it will be tough. However, we have the triune God that will work for us. We have the blessing of heavenly throne. We have the blessing of transcending time and place. We have the blessing of saving two hundred light of uh, saving two hundred thirty seven nations. And because of that, we can truly make the decision uh, in our life. And then he began to talk about this after effects of three organization. Uh, three organization in our movement. Uh, it refers uh, to Jewish and then Jewish group and then New Age group and Freemason. We must discern that there is a blind spot, there, there is disaster zone and there is golden fishing ground. And golden fishing ground means that uh, they are just uh, filled with the people who need to be saved as uh, Jesus uh, illustrate that we are all fishermen and, and uh, those people who need salvation, there's like, it's like a fish. You can't just catch so many fish that just, you know, laying out there. So um, that's what we call it, golden, golden fishing grounds. And it says that um, through one person, um, you can you can truly transform the whole field. You know, uh, when you truly have this discernment, uh, you, even though these places are the place that no one wants to go, and because you are you have you have prayed for this field and you make the decision to go to this field um you will truly transform the the person and their life and the destiny and fate that's that that will happen that's something that will we wait for as a uh when we are sending as evangelists and then and that's what we call evangelism and this is what this is basically work of the missionaries right changing the field um, church, school, hospital, and reform the culture, and that's what we uh, have experienced through our Korean history. Right? We were the poorest country in this in the world. However, these when the missionary came to this uh, this field of Korea after Korean War, right? They basically restore everything. Right? They build church and school and hospital and ba basically change the whole culture of Korea. So main thing is um, we must. Understand that there are fields that uh, have been completely lost, and we call that a, as a blind spot. Um, and that's a field that uh, Nephilim age is happening, Nephilim culture is happening. Uh, it works through culture and economy. And then uh, move on to second point of main topic. We must uh, see the importance of specialized church. And this is a place where uh, this church is standing on this disaster zone, right? Uh, he talked about how uh, he talked about this work that happened in early church, right? Uh, inner garment, our garment, and uh, these are there were the people who selling these garments, right? Tenor, the Simon, right? Uh, Lydia who was selling the purple cloth, and then through their business, it was not just selling the clothes. He said that uh, while they're having the business, the people was attracted, right? And the lore of the city and finance finance group were just gathered here, right? The elites gathered there so that this specialized church uh, was founded in this disaster zone, right? And why is special specialists are important? Because uh, they were the the fishermen who will uh, harvest and, and catch all the fish in the golden fishing grounds so that uh, we must truly enjoy this blessing and then stand as a witness to truly enjoy what is rightful, what is inevitable, what is absolute in our life. And this is what it means to uh, begin our life as evangelists uh, to do specialized ministry. And I hope that everyone can truly enjoy this blessing.
as we all are scattered disciples. At this time, I'm going to pray for us. Um, let us pray. Dear God, thank you so much for this day. Thank you so much that you gave us so much blessing through this uh, headquarters Saturday message, Lord. I know that uh, we must have a correct discernment in our life and we must truly uh, stand as uh, evangelists to uh, save this field that are crumbling down and, and struggling. Allow us to uh, truly enjoy this blessing that uh, we have received through this message, Lord. So grant us the power to overcome the world, to become fellow workers and patrons and host for our pastor and all evangelists, Lord. Allow us to realize that God raised us in the most blessing place and allow us to enter into the spiritual concentration by listening to the word of God and have time to pray to receive the power and healing, Lord. Help us to begin our prayer to receive realistic answers of opening up the path to save the 237 nations and 5,000 people group, Lord. May us raise the work of uh, you may raise the work of the Holy Spirit in our lives to begin the specialized ministry and allow us to help missionaries that follows God's will, Lord. At this time, uh, allow us. To, at this time, we are praying for the missionary mission convention that happened in Korea, Lord. Uh, through this time, allow us to grab hold of message to save disaster zone and blind spot and save uh, and go to this golden fishing ground to. Uh, uh, help all these people in our life, Lord. Allow us to truly uh, break the force of darkness in all of our fields, Lord. Please fill us with your Holy Spirit and guide us with your Holy Spirit, Lord. We love you in Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Thank you.